I'd like to give a special thanks to Mr. Larry Hicklin of Middle Tennessee Relics for allowing me to use some images from his website for items I do not have in my own collection. Hey everyone, today I just wanted to give you a quick overview of Union cartridge box plates. Now this type of cartridge box plate was first used in 1839, and the ones in 1839 were actually a bit smaller than this one. This particular plate we have here was probably made in the 1850s to mid-1860s. Now, these were eventually discontinued in 1864 in favor of an embossed U.S. symbol on the cartridge box. These plates were purely ornamental and didn't really have any other use. So, they kind of decided, oh, let's just get rid of that and it'll save us some money and save the soldiers from having to carry around all that weight. Now, a lot of times you'll find these in Civil War Union campsites because the soldiers would discard them because, again, like I said, they didn't have any real purpose. That is most likely what happened to this particular plate. As you can tell from the back, it's been melted and also has some horizontal cuts running across it. Soldiers would often take items like this and bullets and belt buckles and other decorative items and melt them or cut them or carve them into all sorts of little objects during their downtime in camps. And that's probably what happened to this plate. Now again, looking at the back of the plate, you can see these two iron loops. Those are the attachment loops. That's what would have gone through the front flap of the box and held it to the cartridge box itself. They would have placed probably a little piece of wood or leather. I've even seen nails used to hold them to the front of the flap. Now some states even had custom plates made for their soldiers. For example, New York had one that said SNY for State of New York. Maine had one that said VMM for Volunteer Militia of Maine. And uh, Ohio had one that said OVM for Ohio Volunteer Militia. All these custom plates varied by states. Some states had them, some states didn't. Now, a quick note on the actual construction of these plates. It is a simple stamped brass face that has a lead-filled back. This is all lead filling with the two iron loops connected by a wire underneath. It's, it's a circle, circular wire that has the ends upturned for the loops themselves. Now, the dies that were used to create the faces of these plates were the same ones that created the belt buckles. And the only difference is the attachment loops on the back, whereas the buckles had a different attachment method. Thanks for watching. I have more videos on Civil War equipment coming out very soon. If you have any questions, comments, or video requests, please leave them in the comments.